Oh yeah, they do. Um, yeah, we're obviously a disappointed team about how uh, the way we perform, so we're going to uh, look at it this week and look forward to where we go. Did you do anything really badly though? Didn't see Parramatta was on, on side oh, we, we played a hungry team. Um, Parramatta obviously uh, playing in their home town, home, uh, sorry, their home ground. Um, showed a lot of hunger there and um, yeah, we just weren't on our game to the way uh, we uphold ourselves, so we'll look at that and address it and move forward. Just to take a bit of pressure off, there's been a long streak now going back to I think around 26 or last year. Um, having lost one, you've sort of got it out of the way. Is it a bit of a pressure bubble? No, nah, not at all. We haven't even spoken about that as a team. Um, I think obviously the you guys are talking about it, but uh, within um, we've uh, had a bit of a chat about that performance and uh, it's uh, not what we live up to, so we'll, we'll look at where we're going from here. What disappointed you most about performance? Oh, there's a number of different things, but uh, I guess where we uh, we uphold our, the, the way we go about things on the field is, um, you know, we, we didn't complete well and uh, defensively uh, they, they came at us hard and you know, we probably didn't defend as well as what uh, we know we're capable of, so they're the things we can address throughout the week. What are your thoughts on the game group? Yeah, it's like Major said, you know, we just didn't live up to our standards as a team. and. Just fundamental errors that came into our game that cost us at the back end. And they got a lot of big boys in their side and allows their cars to play, and that's what they did to us tonight. And like we just said, we haven't, you know, we didn't play up to our standards. Do they seem like a different side here, Greg? Like they, they seem to look whenever they play in front of their crowd. Yeah, look, Parramatta's, um, they're great side. No matter where, where they go, you know, obviously they would have been disappointed last week against the Warriors. And we can see that they came home with a strong sale and they continued that on against us this week. And like I said, they just outplayed us and out enthusiasm, enthusiasm um, throughout, the whole, throughout the whole game. You know Chris Allen pretty well, didn't he? He played very well tonight. He did. And we knew that he was going to be in for a game, but at the end of the day, we just we knew that was going to happen. We just had to stick to our game plan, and we sure we didn't do that. Greg, do you sense that other teams are lifting because you're the, the premiers and everyone's trying to measuring themselves against you and trying to knock you off? Without a doubt. Um, but within ourselves and within our, within our club and within our, our team, we know we got to turn up each and every week to play, and we sure we didn't do that tonight. Is that something you've addressed in the World Match? Like the expectation, everyone else coming out firing, trying to knock you guys off? Well, I think every game, if, if you're slightly off, it doesn't matter who you are, you, you know, you're always in for a tough game. I think uh, obviously you know, people make reference about the premiers and all those sorts of things, but for us this is a new season and uh, we've addressed it in that form and uh, as shown from last year to this year, that every game that if you're one or two percent off that uh, you give an opportunity to the opposition and that's exactly what Paramount did tonight. They gave them a bit of opportunity there and you know, they played well. I've left with a few personal changes with Paramount last year. Did you see anything else though that surprised you that they haven't done before or things that Paramount? Oh, no, I think they put a lot of good structure around what they're doing with their attack and uh, yeah, they, they made us have to work extremely hard defensively at times throughout, uh, throughout the game. We've, uh, you, know, they, you can see that they're gelling with their combinations and those sorts of things. So, Again, you know, they're, they're a young, enthusiastic team uh, growing, and uh, you know, we're obviously uh, looking at how we're playing. We're exactly the same. We've got uh, players that have come in, and we're, we're looking at uh, you know, being better in areas, and obviously tonight was definitely one of those nights that we need to be better. Did you, did you sense that Gifty and Chop were looking for each other? It was a bit spoken about in the build-up, but they, they seem to be looking for each other for a bit of it. Well, there's battles that are across the field, uh, mentioned every week, and I think you guys has made it more than what it was. I know Gifty's out there to do a job for his team, so it was Charles. And unfortunately, we just, as a team, was on the wrong end. You guys did have a, quite a few good individual performances yourself, and Glenn in particular. Obviously, it doesn't mean anything. Can you put your finger on what to click as a team? Oh, well, look, we'll just go back and have a look at ourselves, a good thorough look at ourselves, and proceed from there. But in terms of tonight, I think, you know, we just didn't stand up as a team. He's got a good white foot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that before tonight? <laughs> oh, a little bit, but it's lethal. <laughs>
Thanks, guys. Thanks very much.